Dear friends, this April 7th, we are celebrating World Health Day by focusing on one of the world's foremost public health challenges, healthy aging. For the Pan American Health Organization and its member states, this day marks the start of a year of reflection, work, and celebration dedicated to promoting lives that are not only longer, but also more active and healthier. In the Americas, life expectancy has increased by more than 20 years in just the last half century. More than three quarters of people born in our hemisphere today will live past 60, and four out of 10 will live past 80. Given the rapid pace of demographic changes, at the beginning of the next decade, the Americas will have 200 million older people, with more than half living in Latin America and the Caribbean. This dramatic shift presents us with a window of opportunity to focus new attention on healthy aging. By making adequate social and health investments now, we can promote longer, healthier, and more active lives while ensuring that aging populations do not become an economic burden for countries' development. Healthy aging makes myth of the idea that older people are passive recipients of social and health services. Instead, older adults who are healthy and independent can be an invaluable resource for society, contributing significantly to the well-being of the families and communities. Research shows that constructing a long and healthy life is a process that begins before birth and spans the entire life course, and that can even have an impact on future generations. This makes it even more important to develop new concepts and approaches to law, development, and aging, as well as new and better medical and public health practices. On this year's World Health Day, on behalf of the Pan American Health Organization, I invite our member states' governments, civil society, and especially senior citizens to work together to ensure longer, more active, and healthier lives for everyone in our hemisphere.